Hello, Bumpy McSquiggums here, and I am continuing and finishing this weekly runs series of Week 9, FTL, Faster Than Light, and we are in the final level, where the final boss is going to finally fight us, and we will finally have a victory or a final defeat. There's enough finals and finalies in there for you guys, yeah? I, I covered it all? Alright, this should be episode 4, I don't know, I've lost count. I've done this all in one big sitting, so I have no idea. I've gone a little over in the last episode, it was like 45 minutes long as opposed to 30, 35, so I apologize for that, but we got a lot accomplished, and we are ready to just have the final level in the final episode. Alright, so, all that being said, we are to jump to the next place. Alright, um... If I can find a store, I'll be exceptionally happy. If not, eh. Alright, so this is an automated assault dealie. I'm gonna try not to use my drone, but I just don't think that's gonna actually ever work out. We'll see. We'll see what we can actually manage here. We're gonna fire everything we have on his shields. And see. Well, we managed to miss everything. Ah, oh, there we go. We finally got a hit. When he fires his gigantic laser of death at us, we're going to try to dodge it with our cloak. There it is. We might just leave this one alone. Wait, well, mm, we're getting through it, actually. Oh, I actually didn't expect that to happen. Hmm. I'm actually going to try to do some damage to the shields, because he can't repair, so... If I can actually damage the shields, then yeah. I'm gonna eat a missile though, it's gonna be unfortunate. But it hit in the okay spot. Alright, so now we can actually focus on his weapons. No, my beam. It's okay. And he's going to go down. Oh, I didn't think that was going to go that well. It turned out I was wrong, and I'm glad I was. And... Do we have it? Victory? Yes. There it is. Victory is ours! One missile, one drone part, 57 scrap. I miss playing this game. I actually enjoy this one tremendously. This is by far one of my favorite games that I've played. So, yeah, it feels kind of nice to play it again. Alright, we're going to try to close with the... There's no time. Get ready to jump. Uh, mm, yeah, we're going to... We're going to go for it. Alright, so he's going to board us, which is okay. I don't want to use my drones yet, but I think I'm going to have to. He looks like he's pretty stacked weapons-wise. He does only have three in shields. We'll try. We'll try just using one drone to start with. All right, there's the two. They're going right for the O2. We can land a couple attacks here, and we got a shields. Both this thing's fired. We can dodge them both. And we did manage to do that. Excellent. Alright, so now we can actually lay some damage on this guy. I like it. Not as much damage as I wanted, because his shields came back up in mid-fight, but... Oh, that's unfortunate. How did I get through our shields? Not entirely sure, but looks like they've teleported off of our base. Or our ship, rather, not our base. There we go, we did some more damage to him. And we can close all of the doors. All the doors are closed and we are still alive! And we are doing some damage now. And he is nearly defeated. See, he slipped through the blockade, but he is going down. He is not messing with our, our transport ship. Sorry, buddy. We do not accept that. And down he goes. 71 scrap. 3 fuel, one missile. Thank you! It's not much, but they repaired the damage taken. 
I will take that, and I will also get oxygen going once again. I have a lot of scrap. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit more power. <laughs> and what does this do? If I increase it... Close to ship, adding 60 to your evasion and preventing the enemy ship from locking on you with their weapons. I can cloak for 5 seconds. If I upgrade it with 30 scrap, I can cloak for 30 seconds. Or I can cloak for 50 seconds. Hmm. Let's see what the jump shows, and we'll, we'll deb debate whether we're actually going to do that or not. I'm just going to check the jump. I'm not actually going to jump yet. There is no store, but we can actually make the jump to him at this point. So, I think that's what we're going to do. There is a repair base past him, so if I take him there and then go to the repair base, assuming I take a lot of damage, maybe... I don't know. We'll see. But but for now, we gotta, we're going to have to wait up on our oxygen. We'll get our oxygen back to full. I think I'm going to actually do what I was suggesting there. I'm going to increase my cloaking. Might as well get some more power, too. Max the power. Is there anything else? Sure, we'll do that. The healing boost, too. So we're all in now. We are ready to rock. We're ready to go. We're ready to kill some people. It would have been nice to afford a crew teleporter to throw them in. I think, think it makes it easier, though I'm not 100% sure. Parts of the final, final battle, but... Oh, and you have to add power to the teleporter. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so we can do that. And do we need all the power? Yeah, we do. Alright. Mm. Well, we can take our O2 down a few intervals here. Alright, I think I'm ready to jump, guys. So, the final battle is about to begin. This is the first stage of the final battle. So there is the enemy capital ship. We are going to start off with two things. Now this is the weapon I'm going to want to disable with much hatred and reckless abandon. We want that dead no matter what happens. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our weapons on the shields first. And we'll do everything we can to evade that. Oh, sorry. There we go. We're going to dodge his missile barrage. Keep firing on him. And hopefully... Uh-oh. Hopefully. Oh, that's gonna hit. That's gonna hit, and that's gonna be nasty. I'm quite sad because we're not getting through. We're not getting through his shields at all. This is not working. And now we have no dodge. Is it repaired? Not yet. Alright, he has repaired it. Alright. One over. Help him repair. Get back down there, help him repair. You get back over here. We are not able to get through his shield. If we can just get through his shields. There. Finally. We got through his shields a little bit there. Alright, we have to do as much damage as we can to him. Oh, shield came back. We did nothing. A little bit on his cockpit. Come on. Put that second drone up. 
Oh, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, we did some damage. It's okay. We're still alive. We're still hanging in there. guy out of there, get her back in shields. Come on. Got all of that. Can we get our beam turret to go? Yes. Alright, we're still alive. We're still hanging in there. Still putting damage on them, and victory in the first stage, all right. So, thankfully there was some decent dodging, whew, when it came to those missiles, man, that was, uh, that was an intense fight, I don't know if I was going to survive that or not. Okay, so far so good. We did not take very much damage, let's take a look at the jump, he is going to be leaping back toward... This way, we're going to meet him there. And we're going to have another battle. Now phase two. Alright, so he's going to have drones this time. So this is going to be a different type of fight. But... He doesn't have cloaking anymore, so no more... Managing that. Oh, he landed in there. I'm still going to have to be able to dodge this stuff, too. Get out of there. Oh, boy. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. It doesn't look pretty, though. damage. Oh, that didn't feel good. That has to be fixed immediately. Come on, hold laser, hold laser. Still surviving. We're still duking it out with these guys. Oh boy. Our shields are still st standing somewhat strong. Oh boy. Another power surge detected. We take him out before whatever's gonna happen happens. We just have to survive a little bit more. Ah, oh, we did it! We did it! We're alive! Barely! We're alive! <laughs> oh. Alright. So we survived that. Wow, that was, that was intense. That was really intense. We're gonna have to get some repairs going pretty quickly. Unfortunately, there's just so many bad things that happened. But, we managed it regardless. All the bad things that did happen. And we are still standing, and that is what is important, guys. Keep surviving. The final battle is never easy. 
But it is what it is. We have managed it. The NG ship is hit or miss. Sometimes you have good runs with it, sometimes you have terrible runs. So far this has been, like I said, for as far as RNG is considered, this has been an absolutely amazing, fantastic run. This has been, like, hands down, one of the best of the best. However, when it comes to weapon selections, like, I would prefer, instead of a hull laser, a burst laser. It does three shots, or more, if you have a higher-end burst laser. And the reason I would prefer that is because that's more times or more chances to actually hit the shield and do shield damage to it. But we're still standing, we're still alive. We're about 50% health, but we are not out of the woods yet. We have five before it's over. I'm going to go for that repair. Time. I, I don't want to. Oh, oh, and a store. I'm just gonna go to the repair first. Then we gotta. Nice. Right, we gotta. We gotta get back with him. Really quickly. Because going for that repair hurt us a little bit there. Fortunately, we're gonna have to deal with this guy. But again, we might have an okay scenario here. I'm just going to go full out, try to kill him immediately. It's three to two, and we have the superior fighters plus. Plus just the sheer fact that we're awesome. You know, that does tend to help. There we go. And he's gonna fire on us. Yes, but it's not gonna matter. And we're just gonna slowly murder him. There's nothing he's gonna be able to do. Get our rock guy and our mantis back in, and hopefully we can catch up to the flagship and not fail just because we had to go too far away. That would really bum me out because we're we're in a really good position to finish this. I'm gonna run her into the health room as well, in the med bay. I'll throw her back out. Level up to two. And we are ready. We're ready to try to catch up. Let's see what we can manage. Gotta engage again. Alright, so if we were to take as much as we could out of the oh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. And that's gonna be a victory for us. There's no way he survives again. We might eat one missile. Probably will eat one missile, but that's okay. Alright, into the med bay. Not that big of an issue. It will be repaired. I suppose at this point. Auto. One fourth evasion. Versus this being. Huh. Just a flat dodge rate. We're gonna, we're gonna increase both as much as we can. We are ready to go. In theory, we'll be able to catch him. It's coming down to the wire, though. I gotta say. All right. I deal with one more of these guys. Really, intruders again? All right, no big deal. And just like that, we are now in a commanding lead, and 
Well, as it were, we'll sit here and enjoy the benefits of our double heal as we slowly tear him to shreds and there's really nothing he can do. Alright. So, that being done, and Chimera is alive and well and still kicking, and I, I want to point out, I've already gotten this achievement before, but this run has also netted me, if I hadn't already gotten it, the no red shirts achievement or something like that. Because, guess what? Nobody died on my team. I haven't lost a single crew member. Which is great. Oh, no. Oh, good, 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 good. Alright. So we are gonna jump on and fight him to the last. Alright, so, at this point, same basic principles apply. Gonna lower that. We'll take our oxygen out right now, just because we can. And it looks like they're gonna throw crew members in fight our guys. No big deal. He's got a super shield, which is unfortunate, but we're gonna get through it eventually. No big deal. Alright, so we've gotten through. That doesn't sound pleasant. Uh-oh. That looks like that's gonna hurt us a lot. Alright, we're gonna up that. here. Unfortunately, we have to stop piloting our ship, which sucks. We have a mantis and a rock man. Alright, who's our rock man? Garrick, you need to get in there. Splooch. <laughs> There we go. That's what we want. Alright. And it looks like we finally have the opportunity to do this. Probably only briefly. No, didn't even get it off. That's unfortunate. We are still, oh gosh. We are still alive and hanging in there. And we look like we're murdering his ship quite nicely. Oh, this is all gonna hit us. Oh boy. There's no way to avoid any of this. Oh. But he can't avoid anything else either. Alright. Just a little bit more, guys. Just a little bit more. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is, and we are going to take it out. We're going to eat some missiles here, and we're going to do it without oxygen, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be victorious in our endeavors. We did it without breathing, and thanks to the valiant efforts of the Taurus and her successful crew, Splooch, Mutana, Kimiera, Sophia, Charlie, and Garrick. The Rebels' flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. So thank you guys for joining me for this week's weekly runs. This is week 9, this has been FTL, and I'm super stoked that I managed to get through from beginning to end and accomplished my mission of unlocking the stealth cruiser, fighter, whatever. So, there you have it guys. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. I will definitely revisit this game again. I will probably do additional Let's Plays of this game with other... Uh, ships and things. So, if you've liked or enjoyed this game, 
feel free to be amazing like I was and do amazing things just like I did. No, feel free to pick up, pick up the game because it is fantastic. It is a fun, fun game. I've already managed to suck several hours out of this game, so it's well worth the money. And, well, we're just going to leave it at that. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Bubby McSquiggums, and I will see you with next week's Weekly Runs.